Welcome to a new video everyone. Uh, today we'll be solving uh, another question from codeforces.com that would be 478C. So as usual, please take your time reading the question, try to grasp the concepts around it um, and try to understand uh, what are the judges expecting. So uh, in a nutshell, we, we have our red, G, green, B, blue balloons and we'll group them into three, uh, having said that each group of three would only uh, would, would at least have two colors and we need the maximum number of possible groupings given R, G and B so that's fairly easy uh, we'd have to account for uh, such big numbers in the input so I'd be using a long long data structure since we have three I'd be using a vector data structure and okay, the example is basically giving it out that we have uh, two colors for each grouping to get the maximum. So yeah, okay, I guess I, guess I actually got it. Uh, so let's jump ahead and try to code a solution for that. Okay. Uh, as always, I'll be using C++. You can choose your own language. You can choose Java or C, for example. And uh, you can try to tweak my code. And actually uh, pre-process it into another language. And it would actually work. I'll be including uh, a vector library, because I'll be using a vector data structure. And I'll... Uh, use algorithms because I'll probably sort them because I'll be using the the bigger number uh, in my uh, formula it's not really a formula but yeah I'll be using the, the, the largest number in my solution yeah I guess so so let's let's get to it I'll use a long long of course because so I'll name it uh, array. And uh, that's okay. I'll be using scanf from now on because cn and cout kind of uh, <coughs> uh, makes people uncomfortable. So people using c will actually know what scanf used for. This is basically getting the inputs LLD for long, long digits. Uh, I guess I'd be reading three, my bad. And new line, so oh actually, but uh, come on. Uh ray one ray zero. I'm writing Python for some reason. And ray one ray two. Very good. Uh, got inputs. Now do the result. Let's actually do the uniform result first. Uh, yeah, let's do the uniform result, which should be in the sum of all of them, and we divide by three, so that would be the average of uh, the number of poles however if actually first we need to uh, we need to sort them so I use sort which is found in uh, an algorithm uh, library and uh, I pass it if I remember correctly at the beginning and the end that would be it it sorts ascendingly 
as in one, two, three, for example. So if the smallest two numbers, I'll try this already, uh, are less than the uniform result, we we'll update the result to the summation of these two. So the reason why is if one number is bigger than the sum of others, then obviously we can only have the sum of others different decorations. So for example, let's say r is equal to 100. r is equal to 100. Uh, g is equal to, I don't know, 2. b is equal to 3. Then the uniform uh, solution would be 35. 35 yeah actually that would be 35 okay uh, however we can only have five different solutions we would always have the sum of these two if the third number is way bigger than them and by way bigger I mean the third number would be something like 100 2 and 3 for example which which will basically make the uniform solution bigger than the summation of the smallest two numbers I like the smaller two numbers. So we got the result. So let's see how it. Uh, yeah, we're good. Let's try five, four, three in the inputs. And one. As always, there's a compilation error. Okay, I can't even type vector. One more. And yep, we got the four. Uh, let's try the second example before we submit. I like to actually try all the examples before I submit to make sure uh, I'm good. We'd be expecting a one, we got the one. Now we should be expecting the two. I guess we're good. So let's submit it. That was 470C. I'm using C++ and submit. Boom. Okay. Whatever. We'll use GANF for the fun of it. The warning was telling me to use CN instead, but yeah, whatever. Yep, that got accepted. That was fast, great. Uh, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, please check out MacACM.org for more. Uh, we have some great uh, posts. We have a lot of uh, different functionalities in the site. Uh, and you can actually connect with us through Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google+. Of course, nobody uses Google+, but yeah, whatever. Uh, give the video a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe to the channel to see more videos, and see you later.